interest. So, lateral group is entirely innervated by this superficial fibular nerve. Now, the deep fibular innervates anterior group. And anterior group is consisted of, this is tibialis anterior muscle next to tibia. This is tibia, tibialis anterior. Then we have got the extensor hallucis longus, hallux and pollex. Pollex is a thumb, hallux is a big toe. Hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus. Unfortunately, here the tendons are not exposed, but we'll, I don't know how is it here. Oh, better, much better. Great. See, tibial is anterior, extensor hallucis longus, see how, go, how far it goes, and this is the extensor digitorum longus, and this is the superficial fibula. Uh, sorry, that's a, yeah, this is, these are the ramifications of the superficial fibula. Where have we got the deep? I think it's, it's right here. There it is. This is the deep. Uh, during the practical exam, the worst thing is to distinguish between the deep and superficial fibular nerves. Then you have to watch in which of these two groups is the nerve. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I'm not very precise, because superficial exits be directly between the anterior and lateral, while the deep is absolutely with the anterior group. So here we can see, uh, but if you just pull them several times, then the deep is also the superficial, but th that's why we have to watch the position of the nerve. If the nerve goes here in the next to tibia and it's it's hidden and it's it's just in the anterior group, no, it's hidden. Amen. Here it is. Oh, then it's the um, then it's the deep. When it goes here between anterior and lateral, it's the superficial. They look quite similar and they are quite near. And now, so we have got here the extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum longus, and, ex and this is the tibialis anterior. It's immediately next to tibia. Uh, how do you think, what do these anterior muscles do? 